So we've been working with the area model for a couple of days and I've said a couple of times that we want to represent this as a product and as a sum. Now we're going to have a quiz next week and the reason that we give a quiz, Mr. Garcia and I want to know how everybody is doing. Not just the groups but each individual person. So anyway, product and a sum. So look at this area model, that's what it's called. And if you look at it, you say, hmm, what is all that stuff? Well, you know this is x squared, so this side is x, so that's an x. The area of each one of these is x. The length times the width. And then these are 1s, because the shortest side is 1. Okay, so I think we're pretty good on this. And so the area... Um, as a sum, we would just add all that up. Sum means add. So let's see, we've got an x squared, and if I count them all up, it looks like we've got five x's, and we've got um, six ones. So this is the area as a sum. Now it gets a little trickier when we say, well, what is it as a product? Well, the product of, the, well, the area is, Let's see, length times width, that gives me the area of a rectangle. So, um, or base times height, sometimes people say. So the base would be, what's the distance here is, that's an X, and one, two, three. Because the little sides, the length of those short ends is one each, X plus three. And then the height, is again the length of this side is x and those short sides are one so that's x plus two x plus two so as a product product we could say it is x plus two times x plus three looks like that. Okay, now check this out. What we really mean is if we take this and multiply all the stuff together, let's see, all of these things get multiplied together. Every single combination gets multiplied. And what do we end up with? Let's see, x times x is x squared. 2 times 3, well that's a positive 6 and 2 times x, that's 2x, and then 3 times x, that's 3x. You can do it in any order. You just make sure you multiply everything times everything. So, and then if we combine these, right, you get a 5x. And if we write this down, it would be x squared plus 5x plus 6 combining the like terms and look whoa the product if we multiply it out is the same thing as the sum okay so huh let's try another one now look at this guy remember um, what was it that let's see we had a, a rectangle and then a square and what was the difference between those? Let's see. I do remember, let's see, so um, I'm just going to let you know that that's the little square, the smaller square. I guess I should have told you that. But, um, so the length of this is x, but the width of it is longer, so that would be y. So that would be an x times y gives me the area. The x is the height, and the y is the length, I guess. Now, underneath, oh, okay, so those are x's because it's the same length as the side of the square, and this is the long side, this is y, so these must be y's. These are ones, one by one, there's a little square, and then the height of this is also x, so these are x's. Okay. So let's try to get the 
um, area. So let's move this guy over here. And so the area is we're going to combine all the stuff. Let's see. So I'm going to start out with x squared, and then I'm going to add, let's see, I got an x, y. I got four x's, one, two, three, four x's, four x's, two y's, one, two. I'm just adding all this stuff together. The area as a sum. Add it up. And a four. There you go. So that is it represented as a sum. And then what about a product? I'm not going to multiply this one out, but if we look at, let's see, whoops. Um, ooh, this is going to be a little tricky here. Well, let's see. This side right here is an x, 1, 2. So it's x plus 2. And then this side, what is that? That's 2 and a y and an x. So I'm going to multiply this by, let's see, an x and a y and a 2. Now, if we multiplied everything times everything, so the x times all three of those things, and the 2 times all three of those things, what do you think we would get? You're right, that. So this is the area represented as a product. Product. Okay. Could you do this by yourself as a quiz? So, we're going to find out. Anyway, I hope this video helped, and I will see you in the next couple of days. Okay, bye.